Welcome to this video. My name is Stefan Juchmes and I want to show you today how to use the examples that you get with the MBS FileMaker plugin download. The download comes from macOS as a disk image. The files in the disk image are read-only. Please copy them to your desktop before opening them. We have over 600 examples that you can check out and learn from. In the documentation, in the description for a function, you find a section named Example Database. There you see in which examples this particular function is used. Additional, you see the path of the example within the example folder. The examples are sorted by components and operating system requirements. The Mac-only folder contains examples which will run only with FileMaker on macOS. Components with several examples have their own folder in the example folder. For example, we look at the map view create with size function. Here we see that we have two examples where the function is used. We will open the first one. We will find it in the examples folder in the folder Mac and iOS, in the subfolder MapKit and in the file map view. This is the first of two examples we will look in this video. In a map view you can display maps, plan routes or find a specified address. We can create a map view with the help of a placeholder control. It allows the plugin to query the size and position where you like to place your map. We activate the layout mode and see that we have in the objects a control with the name placeholder. This is a control that we want to use to create the map. If we want to know which script we trigger, we click on a button in the example. Double click it in the layout mode. There we see the script name. The script is named here create with control. You see in the script workspace how we implement the script. We use the MBS function in the value part of a set variable script step. Because we want to store the result in the variable and use or check it later. The map view create with control function returns the map view identifier. We want to save it in a global variable because we need this value not only in the script. Each MBS function call has the same structure. It begins with the MBS function name. In the first parameter we have the function name and then followed separated by semicolon the other parameters. In this case we have the window reference and the name of the placeholder. Optional, we can add x and epsilon delta to move the map more left, right or top or bottom. But the create with control function is not the only used function in this solution. In the other scripts we find other MBS functions. For example, we create a map with an exact size. For that we use the MBS map view create with size function. The parameters are the window reference, the top left edge coordinates and wide and height of the map control. If you run the script, the map appears. In this example additional, you can see how to release map views, find an address or plan a route. Now we come to the next example. We provide the displaying of color panels in FileMaker. We open the example color panel. We see a container field that contains a picture at the specified color. We pick a color with a click 
on the button Pick Color. That display the color picker and you can set the color. The hide button hides the color picker. Also you can change the color if you set another hexadecimal value in the field. In the fields red, green, blue you see the values of the single RGB components. At first we take a look to the script that is triggered by the button pick color. The script named pick color. We look at the operating system. If the operating system is Windows, we call the pick color win script. If it is Mac, we call the pick color Mac script. For Mac OS, the color picker is a floating palette. And on Windows, it is a dialog. That is a big difference. That script structure is often used if you have a different handling for different operating systems. We look at the script for Mac. We set a script trigger for the changing of the color. If we have a value in the field color, we set the color as a start setting for the color picker. Then we show the color picker. The script color change is calling each time when we change the color in the palette. The color panel get color function gives us the chosen color as hexadecimal value. For displaying that in the field, we add at the beginning a hash character. To show that is an hexadecimal value, we can choose the return type. If we set 1 in the parameters, we get a list with the RGB components values. We get the single values with the getValue function from FileMaker. These values we set to the RGB component fields. The mbserror function is a very useful function to test if the MBS function get a valid value or occur an error. You can call this function behind each MBS function. We have seen the scripts, but no script sets a container value for the colored image. To finding the reason, we open the database management dialog and look to the field options. The container contains an autocalculate value. With functions from the graphic magic component, we create a 100 by 100 pixels image environment and set the color of the image to our hexadecimal color. We write a PNG of it to the container and release the image environment. FileMaker displays this container content on the layout to show the color. I hope you enjoy our trip to the examples. Feel free to use them. I wish you a lot of fun with these examples of the MBS FileMaker plugin. If you have questions, visit the FAQ section on our website or write us an email. We look forward to help you. Thank you for watching this video.